I'm Scott Morrison from 3x1, and today we're going to be breaking down a few of our celebrity friends and their favorite denim. Denim really started out originally as kind of a raw product. It was something that basically came one way. We do a lot of different things to denim to try and give it that very authentic look and to, to simulate the age that would naturally happen if you wore a pair of raw jeans for years. Luke is wearing a pretty vintage looking pair of Levi's. Levi's is obviously a pretty important figure in the world of denim. Uh, they started in 1873. The 501 is probably the most known product. It's a classic straight leg. Um, it's got an incredible kind of like all over wash and wear. Got a little bit of stacking on the bottom. So stacking is basically when the leg of the jean is, is considerably longer than your inseam. John Mayer doesn't really need a denim introduction. Uh, he's a huge fan of Visvim, as most of us know. Uh, Visvim is a great Japanese brand that based a lot of what they do on kind of this American heritage idea. It's kind of a great example, I think, of what he does really, really well, which is kind of take an American idea um, with a little bit of a Japanese twist to it uh, and make it his own. So Tyler, the creator, is wearing a bleached out pair of dad jeans. It's kind of like what I would call like a global bleach. So there's not a lot of hand sanding, there's not a lot of hand work to make it look super vintage. I think when it comes to the cuff, you've got a bunch of different choices. What you typically find is you find people do a half cuff, which is basically just kind of like popped. Tyler's wearing what looks like a three inch full roll cuff, which means those jeans are extremely long or he purposely wants to you know, have this as his look. There's no wrong, there's no right way. It's basically all comes down to your personal style. Justin's wearing a stretch men's low rise jean. The low rise jean is something that's designed to be worn purposely a little bit lower, uh, but it doesn't have the drop crotch look or effect. It's got a lot of abrasion. It probably started out with some pretty significant holes, including the holes in the knee. Uh, I think those holes in the knee have been a little exacerbated. He's probably put his foot through that at least once or twice. Putting holes on jeans, there's a number of ways we can do it. More recently, we've been doing a lot with laser. You're burning away the indigo yarns and you're left with the weft yarns, which are the white yarns. This is Kendrick Lamar. He's wearing the most original old school kind of looking jeans. This is a raw pair, brand new, probably something like a 501, um, extra long, stacked. This is the jean that I think a lot of people really started to think about when they thought about expensive raw selvage denim. Selvage denim is a denim that basically has a self edge. The self edge is typically done with a band of color. The original use of the color was to differentiate one denim from another denim uh, and from one manufacturer to another manufacturer. Pharrell's wearing the country club jean of this group. It almost looks like it could be a trouser or a slack of some sort. But again, this is also an all over kind of like bleached look. Um, he's got a very small cuff. Uh, he's showing off a lot of shoe is, is kind of the look this is all about. Virgil's got a lot going on here. What you find here is that he's basically got a, a black denim. So black both in the warp yarns and the weft yarns. And then he's basically got a grayed out insert. And that insert is on the inseam of his jeans. The only real way to achieve that is probably to do it through hand sanding or some kind of scraping or some kind of laser application. It's definitely probably one of the more complicated jeans that we're seeing in here. So Kanye is wearing a pretty interesting pair. He's wearing a pair of jeans that look like kind of a classic straight leg silhouette, maybe even a little bit on the slim side. But what's unique about it, it has a lot of tint. So we use tint typically to kind of neutralize the look of a denim. A black denim could be made to look more gray or more brown as it is in this case. An indigo jean could be tinted to look a little bit more dirty. Justin's wearing one of my personal favorites, a pair of three by ones. Uh, we make these for him as a bespoke jean, and a bespoke jean is really a made to measure jean. You can't really make them tight enough for him, and so we actually make them so tight we put zippers on the back so we can get him around his boots. This is kind of a dark denim that he's been wearing pretty much from rinse. Um, so a rinse is when we're taking the jean that's normally raw, and we're washing it once or twice to kind of lock in the shrinkage um, and make it a little bit softer and a little bit more wearable. Wiz is wearing a pretty interesting pair of jeans. It's the widest jean of any of the jeans we're seeing today. It's super wide leg. 
he has some kind of front pocket details that have been actually removed and then reattached. So Wiz is wearing actually a long rise or regular rise jean. Um, where he's wearing it is pretty low, and so it's low off the hip. There's typically low rise jeans and long or regular rise jeans. A long or regular rise jean is worn one of two ways. It's worn naturally buckled and belted at the waist, uh, or it's worn a little bit lower off the hip, which gives you more of like a drop crotch look. Cole is wearing probably the most modern day iteration of what I would consider a regular jean. Classic straight leg with a little bit of a taper. It's got a lot of vintage looking effects put on at the laundry. Typically, if you're looking at the crotch of a jean, the things you're seeing that show some kind of abrasion are called whiskers. He's also done a cut off hem. So it's a little bit tapered down to the leg opening and he's actually cut the hem detail off completely. And you can see some of the raw cotton yarns dangling. So the cutoff trend hem, that's something that's been around in the women's market for the last three or four years and it's really made its way into menswear now. The great thing about a pair of jeans, it's the most democratic product in the world. There's high-end luxury brands that have embraced denim. There's more approachable, affordable solutions for just about anyone in the world to embrace. And that's kind of the beauty of the jeans business is there's a lot of different products out there. There's a lot of different ways to wear it, but it's all about confidence at the end of the day.